Hey, uh, what's the matter calling me out to a place like this? Um... Wait, are you nervous? It's almost like you're gonna ask me out or something. Hmm? <laughs> As if. Sorry. It's not anything to apologize for. Yeah. Is that what this is? Yeah, I like you, Yayoi. I met Yayoi Nishitaka when I entered high school. She and I hit it off straight away, and we quickly became friends. People often say that guys and girls can't be just friends, but that was true, and it didn't take long for the feelings that I had towards her to turn into a crush. And then, day by day, those feelings became stronger until they reached the exploding point like this. Will you please go out with me? Where is this coming from? You can't say that out of nowhere. You and I have always been friends. Even though I know what a good guy you are, Keisuke. So, is that a no? I'm sorry. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I understand. I'm really sorry. No, it's fine. Well then, I'm gonna go now. Yeah, I'm sorry to waste your time like this. Not at all. I, I was happy to hear your feelings. Sure. I, I mean it. I know. And just like that, my crush was over. A few days later, after school... Hey, you over there! Me? Yeah, you! What's the matter? Can you help me with some directions? Sure. Yay, thank you so much. Where do you want to go? It's a place called the Keisei Bookstore. Oh, I see. That second-hand bookstore is pretty hard to find. Do you know where it is? Leave it to me. I can take you there. Thank you so much. Do you like books? Yeah, I guess. I see. That makes me happy. I also love books. Are you in middle school? Yeah, eighth grade. So, do you like used books? Yeah, I go there pretty often to buy them. Is that so? Well then, maybe you and I can get along even more. <laughs> That's true. See? It's over there. It's a place like that? Even though I walked by so many times, I didn't notice. Well, I'm glad you found it. Well then, I'm gonna go. Oh, wait a minute. What's your name? Keisuke Hamada. Why? Keisuke. Interesting. And what about you? My name is Satsuki. Hey, Keisuke. What is it? I think I might like you, Keisuke. Huh? This weekend, would you like to go out on a date with me? And this was how Satsuki and I met. A few days before Satsuki met Keisuke, which means the day that Keisuke was rejected by Yayoi, unbeknownst to Keisuke, a different fairy tale had actually started. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have said no. But we were always friends, so I never thought of him in that way. But, but, I don't want things to be awkward with Keisuke because of this. But, but I was so surprised that I didn't know how to react. <sighs> Yayoi, you've been so annoying this whole time. But, well, but... Hey, are you listening? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Yayoi! Oh, Satsuki, uh, what's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? I should be asking you. But also, you've been really loud this whole time. Sorry. So, what happened? Nothing. Definitely doesn't seem like nothing. If my big sister is like this, I also can't relax and live my life. Satsuki, you're so thoughtful of your big sister. I'm so lucky to have such a kind little sister like this. No, it's about the noise that you're making. I don't really care whether you're feeling down or not. I take back what I just said. I'm gonna make a lot of noise every day from now on then. Ah, uh, sorry. I don't care anymore. You always get mad so fast. But, oh 
also, your answer is already there. What? That guy named Keisuke or whatever? You should just accept his proposal. You're regretting it, aren't you? How do you know? Like I said, you've been really loud. All of your inside voices have been leaking out this whole time. But, well, what's the problem? We were friends this whole time. Are you saying you're scared of that friendship changing? What a girl. I am a girl though, so what? And there are other things I'm worried about too. Like what? You know how there are some people who suddenly change their attitudes when you become a couple? Yeah, I hear about that a lot too. Well, if Keisuke is like that, what would I do? In that case, you can break up with him then. No, there's no way. Why? Because I'm the type of person that wants to marry the first person that I date. What are you, a girl? I am a girl though, so what? But, well, if it's Keisuke, I wouldn't mind getting married to him. We have the same interests, he's kind, and I have fun when I'm with him. Well, then you should marry him. How can you say that so easily, like I'm a stranger? Well, you basically are a stranger. We're sisters. You are such a mean little sister. If you're so worried, then why don't you just try going out one day? No, I want to go on a date after we become a couple. Ugh, this girl, what a pain. Satsuki, what are you saying to your older sister? Ugh, all right, I understand. What? I'm going to take off one layer for you as your little sister. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that I'm going to go and see if this guy named Keisuke is a good match for you or not. And then we fast forward to the day that Satsuki and Keisuke met. 2 p.m. on Sunday, in front of the train station. That's what the middle schooler that I happened to meet the other day said to me. And then I listened to her, and I'm wasting my weekend like this. I'll say it myself, I'm such a people pleaser. What am I doing, seriously? Oh, Keisuke, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, Satsuki. Nice to see you. Did you wait long? Uh, no. I just got here. Really? I guess about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Looks like you're the type of person that can't lie. That's good. But I'm relieved. Why? Because I thought that maybe you might not show up. I did say no at first, didn't I? Yes, that's true. But you refused to listen to me, and then ran away. Because I wanted to get to the bookstore as fast as possible. Even if it was one-sided, a promise is a promise. I see. Well, just as I heard, looks like you have a very serious personality. Plus ten points. What? Ten points? For what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. But still, a date, huh? Why suddenly? Girls my age, we dream about going on a date with an older guy. And plus, Keisuke, you're pretty good looking. Oh, is that so? Are you blushing? Uh, not blushing. You're lying. Seriously, you're very bad at lying. Well then, where shall we go today? Any requests? None. Seriously, what is your goal? Like I said, I'm at the age where I want to have fun with older guys. Sure, sure. Well then, do you mind if I decide? Oh, do you have an idea? Sure. In times like this, it's definitely a plus that you can make decisions so quickly. Well, if it's a pathetic place, then it's going to be a lot of minus points though. But anyway, I'll give you plus 20 points right now. You're really raising the bar, aren't you? So, where are you going to take me? The amusement park? Movie theater? No, somewhere that's a lot more fun and doesn't cost any money. Whoa, what is this? Satsuki, is this your first time at a book flea market? Yes. If you like books and you're not against used books, I thought you might enjoy this. Oh, come on, this is the best, plus 30 points. I'm really glad to see you're happy about it. 
There were a lot of tents set up, and plenty of used books lined up. And that it was almost like a festival, with street stalls, all filled with secondhand books. I have one question for you. Go ahead. If you didn't know that I liked books, would you have brought me here? No. Why not? I don't need to force my hobbies onto you. A date should take place somewhere that both people can enjoy. Yep, plus 30 points. Let's start looking over there. Good idea. Keisuke, what kind of books do you normally read? Let's see. I guess I read a lot of novels. And so, this is how our date began. Whoa, this is the first time I've ever seen this book on sale. Is it good? I really like it, even though I read it on an electronic reader. Interesting. Sci-fi. I recommend it. Well then, let me buy it. It's only 50 cents. This one is my recommendation. Oh, this one? I know it. Seriously? You really do read a lot then, don't you? My big sister loves this one. So you have a sister. Oh, yes. Uh, well, th that doesn't matter anyway. Uh, um, um... Oh, let's go over there. Sure, sure. Satsuki looked like she was having a great time from start to finish. And it seemed that choosing this place really was the right call. I was glad. Satsuki Nishitaka had come back to reality and was panicking. That was dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. I was just having a good time. Because Keisuke has the same hobbies as me, and he's nice, and he's really thoughtful. He has a nice appearance, too. He's not bad. But also, I forgot that my sister and I have similar taste. If my sister highly rates him, then obviously I'm going to feel the same way. Wow. Now that I'm thinking about it, he looks even more handsome. You can't. You can't, Satsuki. Remember your goal for today. Um, Keisuke? Oh, that's right. Yes? You must be getting tired, right? Why don't we take a break? I'll go buy some juice. So you can go sit down over there. Oh, money. I'll treat you. This is a date, isn't it? Ah, uh, this is definitely not good. I had all kinds of feelings as I watched Keisuke's back walk away, and I spoke to myself. If I'm not careful, I might get serious about this. The date was a lot more fun than I expected. It's probably a plus that Satsuki and I had similar hobbies. And more than anything, she was similar in a lot of ways to Yayoi. Something about her, and something about being with her. As if. There's a limit to how sad and heartbroken I can be. I finally found Satsuki sitting down in the place I told her to go. Her face was a bit pink, and she looked happy and waved over at me. I lifted up the juice and smiled back at her. Here, juice. Thank you so much. Was this one okay? It's fine. I had a lot of fun today. I had fun too. Can I ask you one thing? What is it? Kisuke, do you have a girlfriend? If I did, I wouldn't have gone on a date. I see. What about you? You seem like you would be popular. If I did, I wouldn't be on a date with you. Well, that's true. Well, well then, what about anyone that you like? There is. Uh, interesting. You're not gonna ask them out? I did, I did. But I was rejected. So maybe, that's why I went on the date with you today. Maybe out of desperation. There it is. What? There it is. Finally. Minus 90 points. So, now you're at zero points. Even if it was the truth, there isn't a girl in the world that would be happy to hear that. Uh, that's true. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you still like that person? I guess so. I do. What is it that you like about them? Face. Wow, the worst. Is it? I do think that having a type that you like is pretty important. Well, then I should be fine in that case. That's some serious confidence. Well, yeah, I know that I'm cute. Other than that, how our interests are the same. We also have the same interests. 
and she's fun to talk to. Are you not having fun talking to me? That's not what I'm saying. But why are you speaking so loudly? That's true. I might be getting a little bit competitive. Why is that? Because even though you were already rejected, if I look at your reasons, then they're the same as me. But you like that person more than me, don't you? I can put into words all the things that I like about her. But in the end, it's probably not just logic. Uh, I guess I have no choice. What? A hundred points. I'll give it to you. I don't hate how single-minded you are about this. But also, what's with all those points? That's a secret. Oh, but still, that plus just now is also a minus. To be so single-minded, you're limiting your vision, and I think it's a waste that you don't realize that there's an even better girl right beside you. A better girl? Are you talking about yourself? That's right. I'm not that difficult of a girl. Even though you've never met her? <laughs> well then, it seems that I'm not your type, Keisuke. But you are going to be on a date with me for all of today. I never said that you weren't my type. Well then, if I asked you out, would you go out with me? I would have to say no. Yeah, <laughs> disappointing. At the very last second. Minus a hundred points. <laughs> As she was saying that, Satsuki was laughing. And so, my first ever date was fun in the end. Hey, Yayoi, I'm home! Welcome home. By the way, listen. I just went on a date with Kisuke. Huh? I told you before, didn't I? I was going to see if he's a good match for you or not. So I thought that going on a date with him would be the fastest way. Oh, just so you know. He tried to say no, but I kind of forced it onto him. Also, you're the one that rejected him anyway, so you don't have any right to be mad, right? Is it just me or are you mad, Satsuki? I'm not mad. I am upset though. Why is that? Because Keisuke just likes you way too much, Yayoi. Even when I tried to hit on him, it was all useless. Oh, is that so? Interesting. Well, you seem happy about that. I am. So what? That's why I think he's a hundred points. I think he's a good person. Yeah. Is that so? And with this, my job as your little sister is done. <laughs> Thanks. So, this is what I'm gonna say from girl to girl. If you're going to take your time making up your mind anymore, I'm just gonna take him for myself. What? I have a crush on Keisuke now too. You're joking, right? Totally serious. So, that means that now we're rivals, my big sister. Satsuki said what she needed to say and seemed satisfied as she walked off to her room. Just Yayoi was left behind, as she said one more time, Wait, you're joking, right? On my way home from school, Yayoi was there. H hey Sup? Are you going home now? Yeah, I am. You? Yeah. I feel like we haven't spoken in a while. I know, right? Even though it's only been a few days. It was awkward. It was beyond awkward. Uh, uh, hey. What? About what you said to me the other day. Yeah? I was really happy to hear you say that. But I was really surprised, and that's why I said no straight away. But sure, I, but uh, I regret it. I know this is really selfish, but can you give me a little bit more time to think about it? I want to think about it properly, about you, Keisuke, about us, and then I want to give you my answer. Would that be okay? So does that mean that I still have a chance? When I asked her, she nodded her head yes. Of course, that's fine. I'll totally wait. I'm also sorry that it was so sudden. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Uh, I was so nervous. Ah, uh, Yayoi, after all this, you're still saying that? Satsuki? Satsuki? What? Yayoi? Do you know this girl? Yeah, my little sister. Little sister? Satsuki? Your big sister was Yayoi? 
Yeah, obviously. Wait a minute, this girl. She hasn't even told you that? I'm hearing it for the first time. Well, well, none of that is important anymore anyways. No, it is important. More importantly, go out with me again, Keisuke. No, I can't anymore. We went out one time, so two or three more times won't make a difference. Please, can you please not say things like that right now? Oh, my sister already knows that you and I went on a date, Keisuke. What did you say? Come on, let's go! Whoa, whoa! Yeah, Yoi, what are you going to do? If you just stand there, I'm going to do exactly what I said and make him mine. Coming! Is that so? Hey, so what exactly does this mean? Who knows? What does it mean? Satsuki grabbed my arm and kept pulling me forward, and then from behind us... Satsuki, wait right there! Yayoi kept chasing after us. Our three shadows looked like they were dancing underneath the sun.